Hi, I'm internationally ignored superstar Vanity Von Glow, and this is Dylan Jones, the editor of illustrious and esteemed queer magazine QX. Um, Dylan and I are backstage at the Prowler Porn Awards tonight, where I'll be interviewing uh, the winners of the various awards, and Dylan will be finishing them off immediately after interview. Dylan, what are you excited most about for tonight? I'm excited about presenting my awards. Oh um, yes, because last year you presented something quite different, didn't true. you? And got into it's a true. bit of trouble with censorship. <laughs> I'm presenting my award at midnight, oh. so I'm being very careful not to drink too many gin and tonics. Are That's you worried I... at all because you're so close to midnight that you might actually turn into a pumpkin if things run behind schedule? I all? think that ship has sailed. Yeah. I think I've turned into a pumpkin on your sofa a few times. We're not putting in anything about my sofa. <laughs> now we have James Castle, who has literally just come Hello. off stage having performed. You were dancing. Um, I was doing a little sing-song, yeah. You were singing? Yeah. Wow, I thought you were just dancing. It's funny because I dedicate it to you. No, because I thought it was... I, th out here. I thought it was, um, I thought it was Cheryl Cole singing. It sounded that is like, not a compliment, it's, but she's pretty, so I'll take it on the it chin, sounded, just like she does. Look, we were here last year, Corn we Awards were. always great. This year, I feel like there's even, there's a bit more buzz. We've got a few I more Americans here. I completely agree. Yeah. I completely agree. What's I know that all about? It's annoying because we don't want to make it about the Americans, but they're here. But they're here. I'm just not happy because my... My studio owner, our ex studio owner, has walked through the door, but we don't talk about that. But what are you doing now? Like, where can we, where can we find um, you? On well, the internet, I vanity? still get my willy out, just generally in wooded areas these days. No, I actually, exactly, it's very woody. It recently, well, say recently, somehow a year has gone home, gone back and I've moved from London back home to the West Country. I live in Bristol. Oh, wow. Um, I just saw a burgeoning porn, pornographic industry in Bristol, which I'm unaware of. I just think that's the sexiest accent, so, and I can switch it on, I can switch <laughs> it back on. What, what do you want to win? If you had to win something, what would you like to win? Um, Not most, the lottery, something from Most you. conversationalist, good questions and kind nature, I think. Is that, am I up for that? Oh, that's the sort of thing I'd like to win. But that's, tonight's actually about dick. That's what my eating sort of fed at the last time I spoke with you. <laughs> So now I am joined by these lovely gentlemen. Hi, Bob, Josh, George, and Nick. Hi, Hi <laughs> They're so well trained. <laughs> um, something just isn't right, though. Hang on a second. Wow, look, as if by magic, the men are now suddenly shirtless. <laughs> Let's see if it works with their bottom halves. <laughs> I see you're very themed. You're excited about football. What do the tattoos say? Hung Young Brit. You were just presenting an award. Tell me, what was it like? You were up on stage in front of us. Oh, we was. We were presenting um, Best uh, European Twink, uh, 2018. But can we ask you a question? Of course you can. Can we? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Scotland. It's a small glen north of Newcastle. Okay, and uh, um, you're representing tonight. Where's this video going to go? Who's oh, watching you? Who's your audience? This is the official Pro Le Porn Awards backstage interview, which is now an institution. Really? This is, in fact, the third year, ladies and gentlemen, oh. sitting at home, masturbating. And now we are joined by none other than the red carpet host of this very event, the wonderful Taylor Rain, who's here from which part of America? I am from New York. We wanted Theresa May. We got Taylor Rain. You've just got to take it <laughs> where you can get it. Taylor, is this your first time in the UK? This is my first time, yes. Yeah, how are you finding the British people? They're really dumb. They're really hot. They're really hot. I mean, and I love them. Do you consciously Google British porn ever? Because I don't. Well, I've come to recognize them more so than by yeah. their body parts yeah. than their actual names. And now Her Imperial Highness James Majesty has joined me. She has also come all the way from New York City to be with us at the Prowler Porn Awards. How are you finding this whole evening? There are so many beautiful men here. I don't even know how to handle myself. I, I'm trying to be a lady, but I don't think I can contain myself. But how are you finding the Brits? The Brits, they're lovely the Brit people, right? I mean, there's a lot of foreskin. And back in the States, we cut that off right away. So here, it just it's just the taste of the Brits is very um, delicious. It's a, it's a big honor to be here too. Like, just to be invited and nominated was amazing tonight. How are you finding life post-Dragula? Are you living for it? It's amazing, it's amazing. At first, at first it was overwhelming, traveling constantly and, and having to like, interact with fans and, and mingle outside of your normal bubble and not, ex you know, it's, it's different. It's really different to become accustomed to. But I love it. I love meeting people. I love traveling. I, I'm here because of it. Like, 
It's been a blessing for my life. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, drag can take you all over the world, and if you're very lucky, to Liverpool. Third year in a row, an absolute institution at the Prowler Porn Awards, <laughs> the Prowler European Porn Awards, but that doesn't mean we can't have our best friends from the States over. The wonderful Mr. <laughs> Pam is with us. Hello, everybody. What's going on? I'm so excited to be back. So do you ever come to London other than for the Prowlers? I haven't in a while. Yeah. I, I filmed here a few times. Last yeah. year we were filming up in Manchester with Naked Sword and Blake Mason, but yeah, it actually been a while. So it's so wonderful well, to like come back and celebrate and get all dressed up. Well, Hang out back. with you, rub your pussy and everything. Mr. Yeah. Pam, I always think you're kind of like, you're almost like a Bette Midler style person. You've got so much warmth and energy. <laughs> And you look after all of these kids who are all in of porn. Them. Some, of them so are, some of them are new to porn. Yes, some, some of them are. know their way around porn. <laughs> but no matter where you are, like, you need a mom. Right? I know. I'm like the gay mom. porn mama. Yeah, so I kind of take them under my wing. And actually, just one of them backstage is freaking out. He's 18. This is the first time he's ever been to anything. I'm and what's his name? Held his hand, Teddy. A little blonde Teddy. I'm like, find take him. a deep breath. It's all good. You belong here. Have fun. He's like, yeah. Okay, thanks, Mom. <laughs> it was but really cute. You're, you're not alone this time. So, so yeah. in previous years, Mr. Pam has been like sort of like she's flown over an Air Force One, but this time uh, <laughs> she's here with the resplendent Chi Chi LaRue. Yeah, Chi Chi and I are co-hosting together, and she was actually my mentor. I met her about 15 years ago, and I honestly think I wouldn't be so successful in porn if it wasn't for her. Because uh -huh. at the time, we were both big and blonde. So people saw a big blonde drag queen director and then they'd mistake me for I her. I thought it was you. I know, and I just kind of snuck in the back door and here we are together. We actually just co-directed a movie for Naked Sword, Slutty Professor. So it's fun We're going from <laughs> being on the I set in Vegas class. and then to being here in London. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited. Amazing. Cause, so there's never been any competition between you and Chi Chi? Oh, every day. Ah. Coming for you, bitch. <laughs> The world's against you sometimes in yes. this game, so yes. you've got to be friends, right? Yeah, I, maybe not as much as studios, because if shit goes down, we all jump in and help each other. Um, I think the thing we have to stay away from is the comments on the blog. On the blogs, they could be mean. They can be mean, But it's too, okay, because yeah. one of my favorite quotes is, if you're hated, it's a sign of success. I'm about to go on stage any minute. I have a bunch of tricks. I'm infamous for my foreskin shots, but I'm going to try Pardon, Mr. an Pam. asshole Where shot. Where could you possibly be hiding well, It's really foreskin. tucked in right now, but luckily, we're in the UK, and there's foreskin everywhere, right? So I actually brought my bestie, my um, everything, Leo Forte. He works with me a lot. And um, so I'm going to try to do a shot out of his asshole. Why is the drag queen porn star ratio so distorted this year? It's not a bad thing. This is my girl Crayola. Hi. So Crayola <laughs> isn't a porn star um, yet. Let's see. But she was one of the models in the fashion show earlier, modeling some, I guess, some erotic uh, undergarments from Clone Zone, right? Yeah, the brand is called Nasty Pig. Nasty Pig. <laughs> Stand up, let's have a look. Here we go. So the, the corset is model's own, but everything else. Everything you see apart from the corset um, is from Nasty Pig. Well, sit down. Are you a Nasty Pig Crayola? I mean, I'm a Crayola nightmare. <laughs> If the price is right. What well, exactly? <laughs> Isn't that the spirit of the porn industry? So this is your first Pilot Porn Awards. You've not been here before. It is, absolutely. Is it overwhelming? Is it exciting? Is it boring? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've really processed what's happening around me. Yeah. There's just so many butts and jocks. And I have literally just <laughs> been distracted <laughs> by that man's art. Like, over there. This man. It's this so man, good. Like, I can't even. <laughs> yeah. I mean, May I just. And I thought there were only seven wonders of the world. You know, Crayola, it's unlikely we're going to get anything as impactful from you as we just got from that. I know. Or from me. <laughs> I'm now joined by Lewisham's own Ronnie English, who is up for Best Hung Top. Now, we would show you what he's packing, uh, but we'd have to censor it. And I, as you might know, I'm completely against censorship of any kind. Tell us, are you excited to possibly win something, or are you just happy well, to be here? Well, I wasn't expecting to win anything, but I got nominated after six months. So yeah, surprised. yeah, and how much has your uh, has your penis grown in six months? Because I, well, it's been there my whole life. It's been there the whole time. I don't know anything about porn. I don't even watch porn. I, until recently, <laughs> thought that porn was a type of vegan snack. What type of porn is it that we would catch you in? Are you part of the big studios? Are well, you doing some of your? Young Brit, Treasure Island Media. Oh yes, Hung uh, Young Brit told me earlier that they, they spit on each other. 
I'll do that. I don't know if I agree with that, being a Christian. Okay, so I'm now joined by a porn star whose name I'm having difficulty pronouncing. It's Shmoney. See Shmoney. See Shmoney. See, now that sounds like something you would get offered outside Brixton Station. That's me. Yes. <laughs> Do you have any favourites that you're hoping to meet, work with, or see tonight? Well, I want uh, Hung Young Brit to win, obviously. Hung, Hung Young Brit, Brit has to right. win, like, we, had a, we had a lot of these Hung Young Brits oh, earlier. obviously. Yeah. Right, listen, why porn? Why don't you seek out a quiet life working in Lloyd's TSB? Well, basically, I like to suck dick. <laughs> Sorry, you cannot say that. This is being broadcast <laughs> on CBeebies. I am now joined with, I think I'm going to burp. That's not my name, though. Uh, Nick North. No, nope, nope. <laughs> it was just excitement. The wonderful Nick North. Now, he won Best Daddy in the past. Oh, no, two years ago. Two no, it was ago. No, last year. I think it, I think last it was year. last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, but I don't think I got to interview you last year. Because I was in Gran Canaria for oh. a gay pride, living it up. That's right, he was having a good time That's instead right. of being here with boring old me. So, Nick, what are you nominated for tonight? Um, so I think I was nominated for Best Daddy again, but obviously I've had it already. Fet uh, fetish, but I've had that already. Top. You've had that already? No, have you I, not? no I haven't had that actually, but um, I don't think I've done enough work this year to have it. I'm on the back burner now, I'm chilling out, I'm just enjoying it. Like tonight, yeah. I'm doing nothing. What you want to do is you want to chill out yeah. for about 15 years, don't make <laughs> any more films. I'll be dead. And then boom, like Cher, you return for the Mamma Mia 2. Like this. Sequel, yeah. Oh. Yeah. But you're not just a porn star, you're a dancer as well. Yeah, I was. Yeah. First, well, I'm <laughs> I've, <laughs> What's with all this? I know, past I'm dance twice time. retired. Now you're just like, you've now gone I've... from dancing on stage to dancing your way around a pink hole. Yes. Yeah. Uh, lots of pink holes. How is Xavier Sibli? Who is, I want to say French, but I think you're Belgian. I'm French. Ah, <laughs> yeah, no, I really did want to say French. Uh, look, you're not just a porn actor, uh, I'm very successful, but you are also one of the organizers tonight. So what's it like being on the other side of the situation? It's actually the first year ever I work with the Paula Porn Awards. And so I've been really, in, into, uh, really inside this year. And- You've been deep inside. <laughs> How many inches do you feel you've been in? Oh, maybe 10. No, I work with the Prolo Polo for the first year. I did all the translation in French for them this year, for Twitter. And... It's so important to translate the awards into French um, because being hosted in London, you never know how many angry French people are going to turn up. Are you nominated tonight, Xavier? I was nominated for I was nominated for Best Camp Performer and I actually won. But you, did, yeah, you won tonight? Yeah. Oh my God, another winner! <laughs> Doesn't that make us all feel just a little bit less adept at the things we're doing?